Hey everyone, Precision Up Gaming here, bringing you another Diablo 3 tutorial on the secret level in Diablo 3. In a previous video, we discussed how to craft the Staff of Herding, the item required to access the secret level. However, there were a few things that we did not address in that video, and we wanted to cover them in this one. So if you haven't seen the previous video, go ahead, check the description. We'll post a link of our previous video on how to craft the actual staff. That being said, if you want to access the level, go ahead and make a new game in Act 1 and make sure that the staff is in your inventory then proceed north of New Tristram along the road the way is pretty linear and you shouldn't have any trouble finding it and eventually you will stumble upon some bones as you're seeing here and getting close to the corpse will activate a dialogue with the ghost of the Cow King for those of you who are interested the entire concept behind the Cow level is an inside joke that spans throughout the Diablo series it originates from Diablo 1 where um, an awkward dialogue with the cow NPC in town made a few players think that there was some kind of easter egg involved, to which then the Blizzard reps answered with the trademark statement, there is no cow level. So, eventually then in Diablo 2, an actual cow level was introduced to um, please the fans and to give a little bit of, a, of an interesting touch into the Diablo series. And obviously in Diablo 3, there could not be a lacking of a secret level, pretty much for nostalgic reasons and to follow the trend. So once you finish talking to the ghost of, of the Cow King, the secret level Wimshire will then be accessible through the canyon if you click on it and will bring you to a family friendly area which is a strong contrast to some of the other areas in Diablo uh, in the entire Diablo experience. The area is very colorful and there are a lot of interesting things like unicorns and teddy bears and flowers that you're having to kill. If you talk to the happy clouds, they're actually chess and then they start smiling and bouncing around. Instead of health globes, by killing monsters, they will drop then cupcakes that you can receive for more HP. And you will also find then elites and champions, so you can actually get some reward for the higher difficulties. Now, about the higher difficulties, to access the secret level in higher difficulties, you will need to have the courting staff for that difficulty. That means that once you've crafted the staff in normal difficulty, you will have to upgrade it. So you will have to first find the recipe from its will in Act 4, and then craft the next staff by upgrading it, and you will need a good amount of gold to do so. To give you an idea, for Hell, you will need about 500,000 gold, and then for Inferno, 1 million gold. So it will take you a good amount of gold just to finish the staff of herding for Inferno, and then access the level. However, it is an infernal area and it also spawns some elites so you can then farm some interesting and good items from the elites and champions within the secret level in Inferno. So I hope that pretty much covers everything there is to this level. Go ahead, check it out yourself. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it and subscribe because we will be posting a few more updates on other tutorials and a lot more content to come into the near future. Thank you again and enjoy.